let's now explore the main menu in the admin area right at the top we have e107 which i already mentioned will return us to the front panel and next to it we have settings under settings we have cache we have something to do with the actual emotions so they call it the emote icons we have the front page languages meta tags preferences search site links and url 85% of all of the settings is done under the preferences and that's what we are going to have a look at first of all. So I've clicked on preferences and a new page, site preferences will show up like this and there we have two sections, the basic options which covers the site information, email and contact info, user registration, login, sign up page options, comments, posting and file uploading. In the advanced sections we have display information admin display options, text rendering, security and protection, date display options, JavaScript framework and advanced features. Alright, so by the default, the first preferences we are going to look at is actually the site information. Here we'll find the site name and we can change the name of our site, the site URL, redirect all requests to site URL, whether or not we want to enable or disable this, we can change the actual site link icon button, this is by default, this is E107's icon, we can actually enter the site logo and this will be displayed on all the pages that we create. Then we have the taglines, so here you would enter the taglines, site description and the site disclaimer. Once you're happy with everything here, just hit on the save changes button. Let's move up now and going back to the basic options and there we'll find the email and contact info. As the title suggests, this is all about the emails and contact. So first of all, we'll find the main site admin. So the name of the main site admin, you might leave it as admin or you can change it to anything, to John, to George, Michael or whatever you would like. Main site admin email address. So this is the email address of this person here. Then we have the name for respondents to email emails from site so basically when a user sends us an email and we reply to that email which name would you like to be actually displayed there so for example you can enter john here and if i write to email to this email here and get a reply john is going to be the one who is actually send me sending me this email Okay, then we come to the email address for emails from site. So basically this is actually who is receiving. This info here is who is receiving the email. And basically this is who is replying to the, to the email that's been received. Okay, then we can use this link here to test our email. So as you can see, this is going to be the email that's actually entered here. Those two will always be the same. Okay, moving a bit more down, we'll come to the emailing method. We have three options here, the PHP and the two other options here, send mail and SMTP. And I would strongly suggest you leave it as HTTP if you do not have any specific reason to actually change it to any of the other two options there. Then we have default email format and we can actually use text only, meaning we'll have no HTML code in it, we'll have no pictures and whatnot and we can actually insert some HTML there and we can even have the include theme option there as well. By the default, most of the browsers and most of the email clients can now actually read text and HTML as well. So I would leave it as the default, which was text and HTML. The next option here is the site contact information. And basically this is where you would enter the information of your company, name of the company here and the ad address here as well. This letter B actually means that this is going to be bold. All right. So my company name here will be bold. And then the phone word phone will be bold and email word will be bold as well and you can see that it's actually starting here and it's closing here as well so this is a html code right there okay then we come to the site contact persons and who would you like to be the site contact person or persons you can choose admin or you can choose admin and modes and all of the available options here in the drop down menu and also you have another drop down menu here and this is actually to do with who can actually view the contact form. So you can just say that I want my members to be able to view 
my contact form or I want everyone, okay? And the last option in this section is to do with allowing users to copy emails of contact email to self, meaning that even though your email will be displayed somewhere, so for example here, would you like the users to be able to select it and just click on, right click on it and copy it. Now this is important because uh, sometimes it can be used to actually spam your website and thus actually making it work a lot slower and you can enable it or disable it and actually gives here some uh, information or help possible opening for allowing spam use with caution okay once again there is a save button okay the next option there is user registration login and basically this is to set up how your users registrate and how they actually log in after they have registered for your web page okay the first option there is what to have as the user registration system you can disable it altogether you can only have the log in or you can have the register and log in now you have the verification method so once the new user has registered they will need to verify probably their email or something and there it is the drop down menu no verification so which means if i go to your web page and you have this option selected i can just register and i do not need to verify any of the information i have entered in the registration form or we can actually select the second option which will make the users verify their email they will receive an email to the specified email address and they'll have to click a link in order to verify their registration and the last option there is for the admin to approve this registration all right going down the list we'll come to the user login methods so how do users actually log in and basically the easiest way is to just select the username and password meaning that the users will only enter their username and their password and they can log in the other options are actually to enter email instead of the user and still enter the password and the most secure actually way or method is for the users to enter their username and or email and password and i think that's the actual default yes it is going a bit more down restrict websites to members only so you can enable it or disable it just make sure that you know what you're doing here because if you enable it this actually only means that members can access your site so if i'm new to your site if i'm a guest if i haven't registered yet so if I haven't become a member I will not be able to access your website and therefore I will not be able to register and become a member so this is only for actually when you have a website and when you are actually deciding to go and create a totally private website so only members so certain amount of people that you already have registered on your online that you have registered for your website can actually access your website auto login new users after clicking on sign up link enable or disable meaning that if i have just registered do i need to log in or will the system automatically log me in enable or disable then we come to the actual amount or the length of the display name so this is the maximum number of the characters then we come to the login name maximum number of the characters and the maximum number of the characters for the password we can allow multiple signups from a single IP address and by actually changing this number to any number rather than one will actually allow multiple signups from a same P, uh, IP address okay moving down we'll come to the sign up page options so basically here you'll find all the field options and everything to do with what's actually required from the users to enter in order to sign up all right looking at the table right here we have the three options high display and required and we have some of the fields here which are required which are hidden and whatnot so the first one is email obviously this is a required field so is the password the real name you can hide it you can display it or required by clicking on required you're actually saying to your soon to become members that they need to display their real real name here as well email confirmation so if you had in the previous page in the user registration and login if you had your email verification you would actually have to have this required here in order for everything to work correctly so you are soon to be members will receive an email where they have to confirm and verify their registration avatar user custom title options to hide email subscribe to content mailouts 
signature and password in email configuration all right so those are the fields where you can play around and change if needed then it's asking us to use something that's called a copper so if you would like to find more information about this you can it's actually to do with some certain laws and everything else then we come to two big text fields where you would enter some sort of a text to display on your sign up page so for example you might enter some information here such as welcome to my web page first of all you would need to sign up please follow the prompts and sign up before you can access for example our group discussion or whatever your page is about okay so once they have actually registered or signed up they will actually be presented with a text which is going to be displayed here and you can enter some information some text here such as thank you very much for registrating please go to your email and confirm your email and verify your registration okay going a bit more down we'll come to the field that's actually generating random predefined login names according to a pattern and basically you can enter some sort of a character or something here so even like a full stop or a dot and that will be like a prefix to whatever username the soon to be members enter and we come to the disallowed names basically this is if you enter any names here those will be disallowed usernames so people cannot use those to actually register so if you have a username called admin to be your admin you would enter admin here so you're disallowing that to be available to your users to use as their usernames all right and then we come to the last option here which actually says display name and login name may be different for so for example if I'm admin and I would not like to use my login name as admin but rather I would like to have it as Mike I can go here and say I would like my admin to be able to use different login names okay once everything is set we can hit on actually save changes and that will save all the changes just above there we have reset all display names which is self-explanatory and it will reset all the display names okay let's go back to our basic options and the next settings or options we'll look at is the comments and posting okay it's quite straightforward allow users to post comments yes or no anonymous posting yes or no so whether or not you would like just your guests coming in and writing some posts or you would like them to register first display new com comments icon yes or no turn on nested comments yes or no allow posters to edit their comments so if i have just written a comment and for example i have changed my mind and i would like something to be you know displayed differently i can go back and i can edit the comment i have previously entered yes or no show emote icon images on comment form and basically this is whether or not we would like to have the emotional icons and we'll have a look at those in uh, one of the later tutorials probably the next one following this one it's also located in the settings right here so this is the emotional icons where you can go and select whether or not to display happy faces and sad faces and whatnot so this is the option here whether or not we would like this to be enabled in our comments yes or no once again moderate comments made by so what do we want to moderate which comments so probably just the new users or maybe even the guests or maybe even everyone so basically we can see what they're writing before it's actually been displayed and published onto our, our web page comment sorting so from the most recent to the actual last okay so whatever the fresh i like to call this the fresh comments and the old comments okay and then we come to the user class which can email links to items on the site now this word class in e107 has been used to represent a group so a group of people so basically what this is saying so don't let it confuse you what is this saying is use a group which can email links to items on site and then you would select the class or the actual group of people so whether that's the admin that's the members the admin the main admin the forum moderators and whatnot and this option here will actually allow certain group of people to email links which are actually displayed on the site all right so once all of that is done we are ready to hit on save changes 